Welcome to this tutorial on burning and exporting your Video Studio project. Now that you've completed a project in Video Studio, it's time to share it with family, friends, co-workers, and the rest of the world. You have a variety of options to choose from, so let's go over some of the common formats that you can use every day. First, open your project and navigate to the Share Workspace. You'll notice that the workspace is divided up into sections. Navigate to this section if your video is going to be used on the computer, uploaded to a website, or transferred to a tablet or mobile device at a later time, because here you can export as an MPEG-4 file. The MPEG-4 option will be your best choice because these files are relatively small in size, but they don't sacrifice much in quality. For users of Video Studio X7, MPEG-4 is selected by default. If you're using an older version of the software, you'll need to select it from a drop-down list of file types. When you're ready to render the project, click the Start button, sit back, and let Video Studio do the work. If you're burning a DVD or a Blu-ray disc, you have a few more steps to accomplish. So to start burning a disc, navigate to the disc icon to the left of the options. If you have a blank DVD or Blu-ray disc in the computer and a drive capable of burning a DVD or Blu-ray disc, you'll be able to create your disc right through Video Studio. In this example, I'll select DVD. First, the DVD creating options will appear on your screen. You'll be allowed to customize your DVD with a menu, chapters, and other features. We'll go into more detail on chapters and menus in later tutorials. After navigating through the wizard, click the Burn button. Depending on the system that you're using, the disk will likely be ejected from the drive once the burning is complete. Thank you for watching this tutorial on burning and exporting in Corel Video Studio. Visit learn.corel.com for tons of video and written tutorials, contests, tips, ebooks, and more.